And maybe I need one of these for the van. Hey YouTube, it's Monday night, November 17th at 9.15 p.m. I just brushed my teeth, went to the bathroom, and got changed and ready for bed. Uh, tonight, I am in a hospital parking lot, not too far from me. I don't, now you, you do have to take a ticket and go in a gate, but I'm pretty sure if I leave early enough, I won't have to pay anything. And the most I will have to pay is $5, but I really don't think they even man that booth anymore, at least not after hours. So I should be able to just pull out, no problem. I found a pretty good spot in the lot. I was, I almost wasn't going to come here because when I pulled in, I remembered this really, there's not too many places you can pull in where you're not facing another car. And I just don't want to do that. But I did find one of the few that's facing a little bit of a wooded area. Um, so I scooted back here and closed up the van. And I think I'm all set. A little bit of a problem is I'm a little bit of an incline. But my head is higher than my feet, so that's okay. I might find myself sliding a little bit in the bed. But that's okay. I'll just scoot back up. The sleeping bag does slide a little bit anyway. You know, it's a little bit slippery. So I got myself all set up for the morning. I'll get up probably about 4.30, quarter of 5. I should get up about 4.30. If I get to sleep early enough, I'll get up at 4.30, get all ready, brush my teeth, and head to the gym work out a little bit and shower. And I have to pretty much leave for work about about 6.20 in order to get to work and have time to do a few things before I start at 7. I don't know if, I don't know if I mentioned it is 40 degrees outside, so that's not bad. Let me see what it is inside. It's about 64 inside the van, so I'm not even going to bother turning the heat on. I should be fine. I'm not sure how cold it's going to be. I think it's only going to be a low of 32 degrees tonight. <laughs> it's funny. That seems like, it used to seem so cold to me when you said 32 degrees out. But it's like now I can sleep in the van comfortably at that temperature. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going crazy or what. I hope it's not too noisy here because it's kind of where people would park if they were going to the emergency room. So there could be a lot of people in and out, but it's pretty noisy at my apartment. A lot of cars anyway, because I'm right downtown, so I'm used to a little bit of noise. All right, well, I'm going to try to, I am picking up some Wi-Fi here, so I am going to try to upload a video. So hopefully that'll work out. Good night. show you real quick that there's nobody at that booth. So even though we had to get a ticket last night, I not have to stop and pay anything. It is 5.10 in the morning, so it's too early. So I didn't have time to film anything while I was getting ready this morning because I worked today. Back to the daily grind. That was an awesome spot last night. It was quiet. There was lots of cars in the parking lot. Didn't have to pay. It was plenty warm enough. I don't even know what how cold it got, but it certainly wasn't very cold at all. It was plenty warm in the sleeping bag. It's a message to Transit Chronicles. He tried that again. I tried to reply to his comment and couldn't find it. I left a comment just myself under my video. He asked if I got cold on the cot. My back got cold because of the cot. And I told him that I actually, on my cot, I have a four inch mattress pad, full mattress. And then under the sheet, I have a sheet of Reflectix. And I have
have my sleeping bag. So I absolutely do not, my back does not get cold at all. Just the side with the zipper on it, you can, if you don't zip it up all the way, you'll feel a draft just against that cold wall. But if I zip it up all the way, it's okay. So far, anyway. This morning I had uh, some of my stuff on the seat back there near the heater. And when I was stepping away from the toilet, I almost knocked it right onto the heater. Like I heard it blow the, you know, like the wind of it, you know, blowing the flame. I gotta be careful of that. I can't keep any clothes near that that I might knock over. It's close. I mean, it has that guard on it, but still, a piece of sleeve or whatever, something, a piece of clothing could go in between there and catch on fire. I was lucky, and I'll have to be more careful about that. So, I started to get into a routine. Some nights I forget to open the window. So I end up having to come back through to open the window. One night I left the keys in the ignition. Even, you know, I had the doors locked, but I don't want anyone to look in and see that. So it's, you try to remember everything, you know, because it's not always convenient to go back and do it. You know, some mornings I'm like, oh, I forgot to brush my teeth. So, you know, it's definitely you have to get into a routine. And, and it's different than when you're in your house, obviously. Take some time to get to that routine but once you do you do want to find a routine that works for you so it can become a routine and a habit check this out a little neat, cool little tent you can put off the back of your car that'd be cool to have SUV minivan tent Whew, pretty expensive though, 294 bucks. There's no reviews on this. I'm not sure if this fits all vehicles because it men mentions a couple vehicles here. Sleep six people, that's not necessary. And if they got something smaller that's more generic to fit. All sorts of minivans. This one goes off the side of your vehicle. couple different ways. It says it's for an SUV. You attach it to the roof rack. But I don't see why it wouldn't work for a minivan. This one's $232. Look at this one. Explorer to SUV tent. At least it would keep the bugs out if you wanted to sleep with the back hatch open when it was hot out. 139 bucks. A little more reasonable. It lists a whole bunch of vehicles that it fits. I don't see my vehicle listed there, but it says and others. So you just have to try it and see if it fit. I saw a couple people on YouTube with these Skeeter Beater Magnetic Vehicle Mosquito Window Screen. Now I have the mosquito netting to go over my bed, but this might be better. But you'd have to get them for all your windows that you want to leave open, and it certainly isn't very stealth. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. $44.95. Okay, so it comes with a set of two screens with a free drawstring bag. It's pretty cool though. Hey YouTube, how you doing? So I think the last three days went well. I had a lot of fun. I got to experience what it was like to sleep, to stealth camp in a apartment complex at a hospital and in an industrial type of building. They all went well, very quiet. Uh, I went to a hotel a couple weeks ago. I stealth camped at a hotel. That went well too. Um, I, ch I think the key is check on Google Earth, make sure that it's got a nice parking lot. Maybe some, tr you know, woods around it is even better. I went to a hotel the other night and I left because it was just too well lit and too small. I just didn't feel like there was any place I could kind of 
go off to the side or not be too obvious. So I went to that industrial building instead. So hopefully I'll get another chance to do this. Um, like I say I don't, those, those of you who haven't watched my other videos, I don't actually live in my van at this point. Well, I mean, I kind of live in it in my driveway, but I have, a, I have an apartment, I have kids at home, so I can't really live in it full time and travel yet. Uh, so I'm still two or three years away from that. I will take some trips, hopefully, and then maybe starting next spring, or hopefully maybe in this winter, take some trips just to kind of test it out. This basically started as a test and to see if I'm able to survive living in my van and to travel around the country when I'm able to. You really don't know what you need or how things are going to work out until you actually do it. So I started out my driveway, slept in my driveway for a couple months, two or three months. You know, just at night, you know, right in my apartment, in the driveway of my apartment. So then, so this is kind of new, stealth camping other places, and it's working out well. I don't really see any, foresee any problems in the future with doing this, except like I said, just not having a house to go back to is gonna be a little bit, a little bit different. But I gotta get this uh, caravan going, you know, with a bunch of van dwellers and we'll be all set. All right, thanks for watching, take care.